Britain, Lord Tottenham Becker. Commodore Northampton. Begin. Jack Sparrow, so here we meet again. 15 years I searched for your horrid leadership, oh I forget, so did you. Unsuccessfully mutiny, pirate's life can be fun from an island without wrong. Your style is appalling, doesn't deserve any applauding. Your fabrications of grandeur as consistent as a boring. You think you rule the seven seas and can do just as you please, but the mention of our cracking is enough to make your hands blacken. Hey, England, you can lock me up in jail. Too many times I've seen the seas with you pigs on my tail. As with the black pearl and a few tricks I've up my sleeve, will for your evil plans to make us all your slaves. You're so English, you're so posh, drinking tea won't stop the war. You want to rule the oceans, but you'll never get that far. Take, for example, the Titanic, that truly didn't work. I can tell you that my ship won't carry such a jerk. Power and control are what I represent. Leeches up on leeches up, but jump to my command. The British Empire fleets are drained to pity piece of junk, will blow it full of holes and leave you stranded on the sand. The whole concept of our precious drink is totally lost on you. It's just a step too far from anybody from your crew. I have never seen a more uncivilized bunch of nutters, but all their skills and talents you must have picked them from the gutters. You think that you can blow my ship to pieces? I will take you seriously if not for those breaches. They look like my grandmom's old pantyhose, but even the broken weren't so likely mose. And what's this I hear you say about my crew? They are fearless and cunning and they soon have you. With your panties in a bunch, you'll be begging and pleading them to stop singing. Always look on the bright side I of life. I come to Norton, I'm captain of the Dauntless, and I'm the finest swordsman in all the British Islands. If you doubt it, then I dare you. Throw down your gauntlets. Oh wait, you have none, you hippie, in rags. Dear Elizabeth, how far are you going to run? Do you think a pirate's life can ever be much fun? Oh, so I see it's Mr. Turner that took your heart. Are you sailing with a ship that is falling apart? I'm sorry, Mr. Norrington. I just can't stay with you. You're as boring as a new and I'd rather get the flu. Yes, left for good. Fighting was a pirate soul. I am doing something useful while you are on the door. As for you, Mr. Beckett, you think you're so good. You're no more than a pirate wearing a fancy hood. You sit there with your tea, your contracts and your tricks. You're like the crazy version of Madame Benedict. Oh, come on, dear. Please don't be so rude. I will rule the oceans, so please don't think that you would. The heart of Davy Jones will be once in my possession. Each of you will bow, asking forgiveness during confession. For the call, you're the pirate king, but just a little girl. And like everyone or seven, your loyalties are in question. Jackie may want to reconsider. She's done you in before. Thankfully, you didn't get a break for sequel number four. Speaking of falling apart ships, how's the famed Titanic doing? I heard that you drove it into the one thing that wasn't moving. You've been to the fountain of life, the world's end and back. In the ship that you speak of without so much as a crack. I'm a pirate. Red Lord, the Caribbean is my domain. My ship is a black pearl, I fought hard but I did regain. With little help of William and Elizabeth, my dear, we all fought together, did not know anything. But then, ye English, you dumped me with that ship, only rum to survive. Actually, it was quite a nice trip. There was me, also me, and all just a pink in my hair. Wish fulfilling compass, never leading to despair. But always trying to catch me, I feel so harrowed. Drink up me half tears, yo ho ho. Remember this day that you almost caught. Captain. Jack Sparrow. Mm.